Now I'm going to do a few examples of factorising quadratics. Here's the first example. This goes into two brackets and there's an x at the beginning of each. And with a bit of luck, we'll be able to find the numbers which belong in those brackets. And to find them, they must multiply to the number at the end and add to the number in the middle, provided there's nothing here. So think of pairs of numbers that multiply to 14. You've got either 1 and 14 or 2 and 7. Now 2 and 7 add to 9, so they're the ones we need. Positive 2 and positive 7. They must satisfy both of those conditions. Do another one. Factorise x squared, take 20x plus 99. Same system. We have just a 1 here, so we need our numbers to multiply to 99 and add to negative 20. When we find those, they will go in the brackets with the x's. Okay, factors of 99. You can go through and find as many as you can, but you will eventually reach 9 and 11. Now 9 and 11 times to 99 and add to 20. So they sound like potential, good potential. And if we play around with the signs and eventually settle on them both being negative, let's check that that works. Do they multiply to positive 99? Yes. Do they add to negative 20? Yes. So that's where you need to practice. Um, finding the numbers which work, you'll find that first, but then deciding what signs are correct. Now the next question is factorise x squared plus 3x take 28. We need our numbers to multiply to negative 28 and add to 3. Now what multiplies to 28? We've got 1 times 28, 2 times 14, 3, 4 times 7, that will be all. None of them add to 3, but because we're multiplying to a negative, the signs have to be opposite anyway. So we need them to subtract to 3. And we've got that. 4 and 7 have a difference of 3. So where do the signs go to make sure that they add to positive 3? The bigger number needs to be the positive. I'd recommend that you check. Do these multiply to negative 28? Do they add to positive 3? Yes. Now we'll do one more. Factorise x squared, take 4x, take 45. Multiply to negative 45 and add to negative 4. Do we need our brackets again? What numbers multiply to 45? You can go through 1 times 45, 3 times 15, 5 times 9. 5 times 9 sounds good because they have a difference of 4. Let's try that. We need opposite signs and the bigger number needs to be negative. So the 9 is negative. That makes the 5 positive. Check. Do they multiply to negative 45? Yes. Do they add to negative 4? They do. Well, I hope that gives you a bit more confidence with how to factorise uh, quadratic functions of this type. So get plenty of practice and make sure you can do that yourself.